know about you guys, but in the Apple event, when they announced a jet black aluminum Apple Watch, a slate titanium Apple Watch, and a black Apple Watch Ultra, I had a bittersweet moment, okay? First, I actually got really excited, and then the decision fatigue hit me. It's like, which one do I get? And if you're here, you probably have something similar, and look, you don't gotta worry because your boy's got you covered. We'll talk about the weight differences, uh, color differences, how they look on your hand, are they too big, and which one I will personally be going with. The aluminum one or the titanium one or the Apple Watch Ultra. Now, I'm actually kind of excited that they made a jet black polished version because the plain aluminum one that was like matte finish just wasn't cutting it. Okay, so I decided to go with the Nike band as well as here's the case for the jet black aluminum. Aluminium. Okay, moment of truth. So in the box you get the actual uh, Apple Watch and let's see what else you get here. This is a charger. Ooh, the charger's braided now. Yeah, there you go. You get a nice USB-C braided charger, which is probably handy now because the Apple Watch also charges like I think like 80% in like 30 minutes, which is pretty, pretty good. So let's go ahead and see how this jet black aluminum watch looks. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is like black, black. Like, like almost like you can't even tell where the screen starts and ends. This is a very stark black. Like if you've seen the stainless steel watches, this is nothing like the stainless steel watches. The stainless steel watches looked more gray. This is basically like dark piano black, high gloss finish, all of the above. I'm curious to see how this will probably last over time. Make sure you guys are sub because I will test that out because I'm worried we're gonna get scratches on this, but maybe they've put some nice coatings on here and it works out well. Next, let's take a look at this Nike band, which I was actually excited to see because uh, this thing looks pretty cool. Ooh, okay, that's a good feeling material right there. You have the Nike logo on the pull tab here, which will make it easier to pull on and off. I like that, I like that. In terms of attachment points, you have something similar to last year, but this looks a little more robust with like sewn in and everything like that. This is nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this on the wrist and actually see what it looks like. Now I will say this, it does kind of suck that this is like plastic and the watch is aluminum, which does make it a little less of a premium experience, but I mean, you are getting the cheapest one. And you can also tell the difference. If you look right here, there's a difference in material that's pretty obvious. I'm gonna take off the Apple Watch Ultra 1, which is what I've been using outside of like my traditional watches. If I do wear an Apple Watch, it's usually this one. So let's go ahead and throw that on the side here. So you have the strap and everything that closes all the way here. And here's the Apple Watch Ultra. This is the 46 millimeter one. I've also ordered the 42 millimeter one and I'll probably just make a short on that or something like that. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and TikTok and stuff. My wrist size is about 6.5 inches. This is okay, like I could pull it off probably, but it does seem a little big. Although I'm used to the Apple Watch Ultra now, so like the Ultra is pretty big as well. It's actually quite a bit bigger than this one as well. I think it's like 49 millimeters, I can't remember, but yeah. I don't know, this is a little bit little bit big for the wrist. I was really hoping to get a little bit smaller of an Apple Watch, so I might just go for the 42 millimeter. Okay, so the next watch we're gonna look at is the Slate Titanium. Okay, right off the bat, I can tell you right now, it does feel already heavier than the aluminum one. So let's go ahead and take it out. Ooh, okay, it does look nice though, I will say that. It does look nice, just from initial impressions. To be quite honest, it looks exactly like the stainless steel. I can't tell any difference. The stainless steel had a slightly like grayish hue to it versus this has a slight golden hue to it. I don't know if, if that makes sense, but it's very, very reminiscent of stainless steel. Like it looks exactly like the stainless steel that we used to have in the past. Now, Apple did say that they went with this material because it's lighter, it's more durable than the stainless steel. So I'll be excited to see how that actually works out. Does it scratch? Does it actually feel lighter? This feels just as heavy as the stainless steel for me. In this case, we also get the same braided cable in here. And here's the Milanese loop. This is not as black as the old Milanese loop we had. Again, a little bit of a golden hue or tint to it. So I think that seems to be the common theme. However, good news with this one is look how seamless that looks. It's the exact same material on the actual pegs as well as the watch, so it blends in really nicely. You can't tell that the strap is separate. It's like clean. Nice magnetic closure here. Feels 
premium. I don't know which one I prefer to just yet, but this is nice. This is clean. Again, a little bit big for my wrist, I think, but at the 46 millimeters, I might go 42, but I mean, it's not too bad actually. Now, while that pairs, let's quickly talk about my initial thoughts with the titanium versus the aluminium. So the real question is, is the titanium noticeably better? Because the titanium watch is about $300 more than the regular jet black Apple watch. Okay both the Apple watches here. Can you actually tell a difference? I want you guys to comment in the comment section down below which one you think is titanium and which one is stainless steel. We'll go, this is one, this is two. Here's a few closer shots. Okay, this is the difference. This is actually so darn close. If you guys said number two is aluminum, you guys are right. <laughs> okay. So number two is the aluminum one. That's the jet black, because as you can see, it is actually considerably darker than the slate titanium. The slate titanium still has those gold hues. But to be honest, looking at this, I don't know if I would pay $300 more for the slate titanium. The only reason I might do it is because the front has the sapphire crystal glass, which is probably going to be less susceptible to scratches and actually feels kind of better to like touch and use compared to the aluminum one, which is probably gonna be a little more prone to scratches. Also, I don't know how this jet black finish is gonna last over time. So that's also be something to watch out for. But even weight wise, it's noticeably lighter than the titanium one, even though the titanium one's supposed to be much lighter. Um, and especially when you pair it with like one of these like really lightweight, um, you know, Nike bands or something, the aluminum one is like almost like you don't have anything on your wrist. So if that's, that's what you want, like let's say you're doing a lot of runs and everything like that, I would go with the jet black aluminum one. Um, but if you want something that looks a little more classy, the titanium one does look a little more premium. But now, we're gonna take a look at the other really exciting announcement, which was the black Apple Watch Ultra. Man, some of us uh, Apple fans are like so basic. Like, oh, we gave you a black version of the exact same watch. And we're like, shut up and take my money. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up the Apple Watch Ultra in black. Ooh, you have that nice packaging as usual. I love how it's all like darker just to match the Apple Watch. Man, look at this, man. Okay, the packaging on this does go hard. It goes much better than <laughs> the experience with the other Apple Watches. You get like this like booklet and stuff like that. This is nice, I like the packaging. <laughs> I'm a sucker. I'm a marketer's dream, man, I'm telling you. Oh, and by the way, I got the Milanese Loop with that really cool clasp for the Apple Watch Ultra. I'm really excited for that combo. I wanna see how that actually works out. So let's go ahead and open this. Boom, okay, it's covered, anticlimactic again. Okay, but let's see what we get in the box. So in here, again, we get still the braided cable. I really wish this was color matched. Now, because this is the Apple Watch Ultra and everything like that, they have like designed in California, but they have the exact la longitude and latitude coordinates on there. Nice touch. Okay, and here we go. Here is the satin black titanium. Oh. This thing is sweet. Oh. oh my goodness, this thing looks really nice. Oh man, I'm glad I didn't upgrade to the Apple Watch Ultra 2 last year. I still have the first gen because now the upgrade just goes hard. Look at that difference. Yo, this the satin black actually looks fantastic. With like the orange hits and stuff, the black and orange, mm. Nasty combo. Oh, look at that, man. You get the black titanium iPhone and the black titanium Apple Watch Ultra and it's like a match made in heaven right there. Okay, while this pairs, let's go ahead and unbox this uh, new Milanese Loop, which I'm actually really excited for. Look at this with the whole slate gray packaging on this. So let's quickly compare this uh, titanium Milanese loop to this one that you get with the Apple Watch Ultra. It feels like completely separate materials. This looks very different and feels very different. Just look at the weave on the Apple Watch Ultra Milanese loop. It's much bigger versus here. It's much more smaller. And I think I actually prefer this one. It just looks neater and cleaner, but I love this clasp system because you just push it up like this 
and this thing comes off. And then you can basically tighten or loosen how much ever you want by opening this thing and then basically just sliding it back and forth wherever you want it. And then when you like this, then you just press it back down and boom, you have it set. Let's go ahead and throw this on. I love how now it is color matched. So the moment you start paying a little bit extra money, Apple does give you those good materials and that good quality. Look at how color matched that is, like the actual pegs as well as the actual watch. It looks like it's a one piece design. You can't really tell. I kind of dig it. I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? Because the thing is, usually when I'm wearing like, like an everyday watch, it's usually not the Apple watch. Uh, I'll usually probably take like one of my other uh, traditional watches, but when I'm going to the gym or doing some activity or something, that's when I usually wear my Apple Watch. Throughout the year, I did also miss, because I've had the Apple Watch Ultra for like two years now, I did really miss having a regular Apple Watch like this because these things are just so much thinner, they're so much more inconspicuous, they like sit well, they're lighter on your hand, on your wrist, and they just don't look as bulky as the Apple Watch Ultra. I kind of wanted to switch to the Series 10, but after taking a look at this new satin black material on this Watch Ultra, I don't know man. I'm a, I'm a sucker for this stuff. Okay, so overall, I think here's my thoughts so far. Preliminary thoughts, I'll probably do a more dedicated video on this later on, so make sure you guys are subbed for that. I think if you just want a nice, clean looking Apple Watch, I think it's a no brainer to go with a jet black Apple Watch um, uh, aluminum one, just because it is a great value for money, what you're getting, well, I mean, relatively to the other Apple Watches at least. For $399, you're pretty much getting the exact same experience from across the range here, depending on whichever one you get. It's literally, you're just paying for the materials and stuff. So I would go with the Jet Black Aluminium one, to be quite honest. Now, if you are somebody who, you know, you wear a lot of suits or you're business casual a lot of times and you want something that looks slightly more elevated and premium, not to say that the Jet Black doesn't, it's just that the golden sheen from this titanium Apple Watch is it's really nice, okay? And it makes it a very elevated experience and it actually looks, in my opinion, more premium. Especially if you're keeping your watches for like many years, like you're not gonna upgrade next year or the year after that. Get the titanium one maybe, and then you know you know you have a solid screen on there that's not gonna scratch as much. The titanium material is gonna be nice and strong to hold up to whatever you're gonna put it through. Now, if you are somebody who mainly lives an active lifestyle, or you're like me and you only usually wear Apple watches when you're doing active stuff, or your watches just get banged up a little bit, and or you like that larger, chunky, like Casio sort of look, then the Apple Watch Ultra is also pretty fire and a great option. It is, however, $400 more than the base aluminum one, just to keep in mind. So it goes like the base one, and that's it, this is a 46 millimeter. I'm talking like 42 millimeters, like 399 for aluminum. Then if you upgrade to the titanium, you're paying about 699. And then if you upgrade to the Apple Watch Ultra, you're paying about 799. Now keep in mind, aspect, the difference will probably need not be as much to the uh, titanium Apple Watch Ultra because these are the 46 millimeters one, which are slightly more expensive. I think it's like 150 bucks more. So just keep that in mind. The other thing I wanted to test is speakers. I actually wanna know if the speakers on these watches is louder than the other one. So now Apple basically allows you to play like podcasts or music or whatever through your speakers. So let's go ahead and load up a podcast here. Okay, I'm gonna open up the podcast app. Continue. Yo, like the typing on this is actually really cool. It's actually surprisingly good. I didn't expect it to be that e that quick or that easy to do. Is it still possible to make it on YouTube? Tens okay, this is max volume. People commenting on these videos. I don't know many other YouTube creators who are gonna go to those lengths. Our whole budget is a team of four people. I looked at that and I was- Let me see if the speaker in the stainless, in the titanium watch is any louder. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same for the titanium and thing. Let's check out the Apple Watch Ultra. I feel like this might be louder. I don't know. I'm Colin and I'm Samir. We're creators who've been working together for the last 10 years and every Monday we break down the business of creators. Which gives him this like funny anchorman kind of feel. He lost it all. 
But today on the show, we're going to tell you the story of how he... Okay, there is a slight difference with the ultra speakers. They do feel slightly a little bit fuller. I don't know. It's because we have bigger speakers and the way that we're projecting the voice out. Like you can see the speaker grills here are significantly bigger compared to in the titanium or the aluminium watch, which are really small dots, which you can't even tell. So yeah, I think it is slightly more fuller and maybe just a tad bit louder, but not much of a difference. You probably won't even notice it. I had to really put my ear close to it. Okay, in case you were curious, here's the difference between the natural titanium Apple Watch Ultra and the black Apple Watch Ultra. Um, honestly, the natural also looks really nice. I actually kind of like that natural look, but I think the black and orange just goes so much nicer. And uh, I mean, if you have not owned this color, I, I think go for it, to give it, give it a shot. I've used this for like two years, so I think this would be the one that I'm gonna go for. It just looks clean. Okay, so I just got back from filming like a bunch of B-roll outside. And I gotta say, initial impressions was as much as I like this like satin black titanium Apple Watch, I almost feel like the titanium Apple Watch Ultra stands out a little bit more because of that like natural titanium look to it. So it's just like with the jeans or like, you know, black clothing or anything like that, it kind of just stands out versus this can look more like a regular Apple Watch that, you know, anybody else has. Now, the other thing I just noticed was that the titanium Apple Watch, yeah, when I'm staring at it, it looks really nice, but when it's on your wrist, like nobody's gonna even be able to tell that, oh, it's a titanium Apple Watch, right? Uh, and like the jet black one just does a good enough job. Like you, I couldn't even tell in the footage, I don't know if you could, which one was which or like when I was wearing what. So I don't know, I, I, I don't know if it's worth the extra money. It feels nicer though. So if you care more so about what it feels like versus what like, you know, what it looks like, then yeah, sure, go for the titanium one. Uh, but if you're just like, okay, you know what? This looks better, looks wise, I'd say it's a wash. So do with that as you may. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. I love making these kind of like decision videos. I usually do day in the life sort of videos, but Apple season, lots of people trying to make decisions and I know how that felt because I've always been in that position where I'm trying to make a decision between colors or like different products and like I just search a whole bunch of videos and like nothing would really help. But hopefully I can be that guy that helps you guys out and uh, this makes your decision easier. If you like this video, then check out one of these two here and I will see you guys there. Take care.